I'm super excited it's Strikebacks back. Hi everyone, I'm Sandrine and welcome to the Strikeback Reviews! What? I am unbelievably excited that this show is back on our TV. Ooh, I need to calm down because... That was very emotional and very draining. In case you don't know, Strike Back is one of my favorite shows. And of course, in Strike Back fashion, they'd leave us on that crazy cliffhanger. But I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's start from that opening sequence. I mean, it's like Strike Back doesn't even stop, right? It's like boom, 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 boom. It's like, I can't breathe right now. Oh my God, this is insane. Right off the bat, they kill somebody. But I guess we needed a reason to bring back Scott and Stonebridge into the action. So yeah, he had to go. Sorry, Baxter. It was nice knowing you. But before I get to Stonebridge and Scott and their crazy holidays, I want to first talk about Rachel Dalton who kicks ass that scene when she's trying to go get info about who betrayed them. And then the scene after in the bathroom when she kicks the ass of people that were trying to kill her. I mean, why wouldn't we love her? She's just almost as badass as Scott and Stonebridge. So welcome back, Rachel. I'm glad they didn't kill you off last season. And Rachel is doing her own side project, tracking Sebastian Grey. I'm quite interested in that character, actually, because I think he can be a really great source of information and he's gonna be a quite a cool nemesis. Or at least I think they're setting him up to be. But let's check in with the boys, because that's really what we care about, isn't it? Scott and Stonebridge on holidays together, doing a bike road trip? What could happen? Oh wait, a helicopter on the freaking road coming to pick them up. That cop was like, what is happening? Wait, I just, uh, oh, and you're leaving your bikes there. I mean, how awesome is this? This is like insane. I was like, oh God, only in Strike Back, only in Strike Back. Probably the best line was Stonebridge, does this belong to you? Speaking of hilarious, the guys are on a roll this season. Holy crap, I was laughing my ass off. I love that dynamic between the two and I think this season is just starting off up there. In addition to Scott and Stonebridge, we also meet a new character this season, Kim Martinez, who seems to be kicking asses of her own, almost as badass as Rachel is. This season's gonna be awesome. Speaking of women that kick ass, Rebecca is back. I don't know for how long, but she definitely helped them get the heck out of there. But uh, I have to wonder if she died in that boat at the end because she, you know, kind of exploded. It's possible that they might kill her. As for this season's big bad guy, Alzuhari, he's a terrorist who gets his funds through drug trafficking. That's a twist. I don't think we've ever seen that on Strike Back. So it's going to be an interesting setup for this season. I mean, Kamali already is in a bad position, like he might die. But there's a whole drug aspect to it. And we've seen that these guys don't let things go. like. You'll kill all of their men and they'll still come after you. I'm a little worried for the guys. I'm a little worried for everybody around them. I guess we should start taking bets on who's gonna die by the end of the season. I mean, I mean, who thinks Rachel is gonna make it? I don't know, I'm really worried about her. I thought they might kill her in this episode, you know? I'm just saying. But as a side note, does anybody wonder what Kamali was gonna tell them? Cause he's like, no, wait, listen to me. And I know it's probably nothing important, but I'm almost wondering if they put it in there because it's actually gonna be relevant to them or what they're doing. Maybe there's something they don't know. Maybe there's gonna be a big reveal. But the whole time I was like, oh, let him speak. Remove the thing from his mouth. Like he's, maybe he has like very important information that you should probably know. So that's just my thought and me freaking out while I'm watching and talking to the TV. I have issues. And this of course leads to that big cliffhanger that I talked about with the boat exploding. Obviously the guys are gonna make it out. We don't know who else. I'm guessing Kim is gonna make it out too because she's a recurring character this season. So I'm just wondering, you know, that's why I said maybe Rebecca's gonna die. Kamali might die, who knows. But more importantly, did anybody catch that do we go on one or zero joke? You guys who have been watching this show for a while, you'll know exactly what I mean. And by the end, I was totally exhausted. And I was like, oh, they're totally gonna end it there, aren't they, aren't they? Oh. It started with an M and ended with an R. Amazing, amazing start of the season. I think I love it even more than season two, or at least the way season two started, or maybe I'm just excited it's back. Either way, it's awesome. And I can't wait to hear what you Strike Back fans think about this opening episode. Are you as excited as I am that it's back? Are you on the edge of your seat freaking screaming at your TV? Do you think Kamali had actually something to say? Who do you think is gonna die on the boat? Let me know in the comments. Of course, if you like this video, Click the like button and subscribe because I'm going to review Strike Back every week so you don't want to miss it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye!
Michael Bassett directed the episode and he's also a showrunner for the show this season. He's got some crazy stuff planned for us this season from what he talked about at Comic-Con. You should actually check out the interviews we did with the Strike Back cast at Comic-Con. 